Hi, this is the second part of the series, Trump is your daddy. Okay, I'm talking to the Central Americans illegally, illegals. Trump is your daddy. And then I'm going to talk about, this is part two, why your wealth, and you want to call it wealth, your so-called wealth, is not real wealth. It is invalid. It doesn't count. And I know you say, well, we're eating, we live in a house, on an apartment, subsidized by the government, of course. And in Mexico, we sent so much money that we bought some land in Mexico, so it is valid. But you don't have real wealth. Okay, if you, I know what you're saying, you got a $15 an hour job, you're not paying taxes on that $15 an hour, any type of taxes. You're not going to pay, if you're here in this country for 20, 30 years, you're not going to pay taxes for 20, 30 years. Even though you're using the taxpayer's money, you're not going to pay taxes on it for three years. Okay, for 20 years or 30 years, however many years you stay here. You're saying you have a $15 an hour job from the white contractors because they get most of the contractors contracts. Now, if Uncle Sam, your daddy, is paying rent, paying your rent and buying your food, that is not real wealth. That's what you call welfare. Hello? Okay? That's not real wealth. Real wealth is when... You have plenty of money in real estate and you're not getting anything from the government. What you have is a cheating economy. That's what you have. If blacks cheated like you did, we would be, all of us would be in the jail. Okay? You fake information on the application to get a car or a house. Okay? Then you save all that money from your illegitimate job, from smuggling, smuggling drugs, smuggling people. You save all that money. You don't, you're not paying taxes like you're supposed to. You're not paying federal, state, and local taxes because you do not exist. I understand all about the tax identification that I understand, but you not, you don't even use that. And, and you know what? You cheat on the taxes to get you a $29,000 refund. You cheat on that taxes. You make up people to deduct. And you know what? The U.S. government has no way to verify it. Now, when I fill out taxes, I have to verify everybody that's living in my house. I have to put their Social Security number there on the, on the tax form. I cannot just name five or six young relatives that I have. I've got to actually put their Social Security number on the tax form. But what you illegal uh, Central Americans do, you make up relatives from Mexico and Guatemala, you know, Pedro and Emilio, that there's no way the United States government can verify. You you put five or six deductions and you get a 29, you know, maybe even 10 people. You can put your uncles there. You get a $29,000 deduction from Uncle Sam. And you cash it. And there's nothing Uncle Sam is not going to even do anything about it. The money's gone. Okay. So you uh, you don't have real wealth. What you have in this country is welfare. Uncle Sam paying your rent, your food stamps, etc. And in some cases, Uncle Sam is paying your mortgage. Okay. What you have is a cheating economy. As I said, you save all the money you earn. You don't pay any taxes on it, and then you pay cash for a house or pay half or put a very big down payment and pay half of the house and then pay that house off very quickly in about two or three years. Okay, you get your your money from smuggling, from smuggling drugs and smuggling people. Okay, and that's how you buy your extended cab truck. That's how you buy your Mercedes Benz, okay? Now, when the government pays anything, you don't have real wealth. I know, I see you bouncing around. You so, you so happy to be in this country. I see you bouncing around every day. You, um, the government's paying your rent. You got subsidized, very nice subsidized townhouse apartment. You're getting food. The government's paying for your food. You're fat. Your children are fat. The government pay, is paying for your food stamps. You got a piece of a job uh, that a Korean gave you in a, um, laundromat or in a mexican restaurant 
or in the Chinese restaurant, you got your little piece of a job. Okay, you're not even supposed to be working if you're getting welfare, but you got your, you're cheating the government. And you know what? The government's not going to ever catch you because you do not exist. You don't have a social security number. There's no way the government can even check that. You don't pay taxes on any of that kind of money. So what you have is an underground cheating economy. You don't have real wealth. Real wealth. And like I said, real in real wealth, you don't get any subsidies from the government. The government does not pay your rent. The government does not give you food stamps. In real wealth, wealth that you can pass on, you can use for yourself while you live it, and you can pass on to the next generation. And you need to understand that what you have is fake. Fake wealth. Fake everything. Have a nice day.